Hello, everyone. What's up, guys? Chris here with Hello Herbivore. And today I'm gonna show you how to make vegan paella. Normally, paella is cooked with all sorts of meat, like pork, chicken, seafood, and sausages. As tasty as it may be, it's high in saturated fat and full of cholesterol. And that significantly increases your chances of heart disease, stroke, and cancers. Today, I will show you how to make this dish vegan and far healthier. Feel free to use the comment section below and let me know what you think. I started off this recipe with grating the heads of two cauliflowers to make the cauliflower rice. Many grocery stores sell cauliflower rice prepackaged, but I had some in the fridge and made it myself. Next, I cut up some onions. Onions are great for strengthening the immunity system, reducing inflammation, and lowering cholesterol. I also minced some garlic. Garlic contains antioxidants, helps detoxify heavy metals, and honestly, it just makes dishes taste that much better. For this recipe, I used the Field Roast Chipotle Vegan Sausage. It gives this paella some boldness and bite. I used these sausages in my spicy spaghetti recipe, which I'll link down below. Throw all the ingredients in a pot on medium heat. I added paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. Once everything was cooked, I added the cauliflower rice and vegetable broth. I'll make sure to add the exact measurements of each ingredient in the description below. I like to use cauliflower over rice for this dish because some days I don't like eating a lot of carbs. Next, I threw in some canned tomatoes. There was a lot of liquid, so I had to simmer it for a while to reduce the liquid down. While the paella was simmering, I grabbed whatever vegetables I had in the fridge and roasted them to top off the paella. Here, I used bell peppers, broccolini, and mushrooms. Sprinkle some olive oil, salt, and pepper and roast it for 15 minutes. I decided to add these seaweed snacks. This gave the paella a seafood flavor that went well with the spicy sausages. Lastly, I added frozen peas just to give this dish a different texture and make it look more vibrant. Plate this bad boy and you can either serve it alone or with some bread. Cauliflower has some great health benefits, but the one that surprised me the most is that it helps reduce cancerous cells if eaten on a daily basis. I hope this video inspired you to cook a healthier alternative to paella. If you like the content of my videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Your views, likes, and subs inspire me to continue to make videos like this. That being said, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.